Well, hello, hello, hello. Anyway, so, yeah, that happened. I recently... Recently, I've been looking at hell divers. You'll have to excuse my voice. I'm kind of sick, but that's okay. We're just gonna continue on like it never even fucking happened. So, yeah, hell divers. <laughs> I have downloaded it and I have played it. It's 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 a good it's a good game. A, a little hard to get used to, especially if you're the first person shooter kind of person. I've been playing first person shooter for a very long time, and when it comes to situational awareness, I don't have any problems with first person shooter. I do a quick scan, and you know, in my mind, I already know what's going on around me. Uh, this is you know a, a big debate between uh, having to see third person and. Uh, if you're third person, you get to have a situational awareness compared to if you're first person, you don't. I don't have that problem. I really don't. Uh, there's a lot of first person shooter people out there who are, you know, hardcore, been doing this for many years, who don't have that problem at all. I've played lots of games that go first person and you just, you don't have that problem. And a lot of people like to, you know, argue of, of the fact that, well, because you're not, you know, in third person, the, the little buggy boo sneaks up behind you and you don't know it's even there. This is, this is why it's so important that when you're in first person, you scan. There's a lot of scanning going on. You're always scanning. You're looking around you, looking left, looking right, just like you would in reality. So what you do is before you go down the scope with your gun, you do a quick scan just to make sure that there's nothing around you before you scope. And when you scope, you don't sit there for a fucking half an hour. You do your really quick two, five seconds, pop, pop, and then you do another quick scan. This is how real first person shooters uh, behave when they're in first person shooter or first person view. Right, a lot of people who don't are not used to that kind of gameplay. Um, they like to argue the fact that you know third person. And, and I, what a fucking rant! Where'd this go? Anyway, so here we are, KSP. <laughs> here we are, KSP. And I built uh, as close to as I could with game restrictions, of course. The the whole thing when it comes to hell divers. We're talking about the ships, we're talking about the jump pods, we're jump pods, landing pods, dive pods, whatever, and stuff of this nature. I even did a whole scale of the bridge. It's it's very quickly done. I did this like in three days, it, the, the building the crafts, that is. The bridge is, is uh, to my knowledge of, of what it did. You know, I, I wasn't really looking at any references. I just kind of went off of memory from uh, things I've seen on the internet as well as playing the game myself and a lot of the stuff that you see are flags so all the different types of holograms and buttons and stuff or they're all flags you just go and you you, do, you download whatever uh, well for me personally I either find something on the internet and tweak it or I actually make it myself like the planet in the middle of the bridge that you know was transparent like a hologram I made that myself in paint 3d so I wanted it to be I wanted it to be good right but I didn't have enough time to make it like you know unbelievably accurate so you know everything is very close to what the game has but at the same time it's 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 more kerbalized. It's the best way I can describe it, right? It's kerbalized. But you know that's the fun of it. So in Helldivers, when I play solo, a lot of my tactics is just to pretty much just run around a rock until I gather them all in one spot, and then you know let the orbital strike take care of them, because you know it, you try to stand there and shoot and everything, it's not gonna not gonna really work out very well for you. Um, so <laughs> the drop pod. Interestingly enough, the drop pod for the uh, the design of the drop pod, uh, I couldn't go into the ground, obviously. That's not what KSP will allow me to do. So I designed the drop pod to smash, you know, into the ground. And when it smashes, it blows apart, allowing the Kerbal to walk away from it unharmed. That was the whole thought and design process of that. But anyway, I uh, hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. Please leave a like. Uh, likes help us, uh, help me help us. Well, help everybody, yeah. And uh, also, if you really, 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 really liked what you saw, consider subscribing. We, we, uh, uh, we, I keep on saying we. 
<laughs> um, uh, uh, I upload often. Um, it's been a little slow lately because of work and everything, but I do upload. Uh, KSP2, dead or alive, who knows? Leave your comments in the bottom below. Um, I might make a video about that, about my thoughts about that later. You know, not, not saying that I didn't see this coming, but... But we also have a membership program. If you're interested, uh, become a member. You get cool emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. But anyway, love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Um, bye for now. Bye-bye. Unless you make the most important decision of your life, prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join. The Helldivers.